All right, welcome back everybody. So, in the last video, we finished our uh, all of our big pieces. So, we're ready to start dyeing. So, this is gonna be really quick. Dyeing's really easy. So, uh, one thing, again, I'm gonna do the contrast stitching on everything, but uh, for this ammo banding, I want I wanted to keep this shape as best as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dye it just like this. And then when it's time to stitch it together, I'm gonna pop them one at a time and restitch. So in theory, that's how it should work. Um, but a real easy thing on dyeing. Sorry, I'm playing with this new thing my wife just got me. Uh, to hold my phone instead of the other camera because the camera's better on the phone. So always want to wear gloves when you're using dye because we're all made of leather and this is leather dye it's actually backwards but um anyway so this is all going to be black um it's going to take me a lot of dye that's why i've actually got two containers up here i've got a big one i can get but i just want to show you real quick easy ways well it's not even really easy ways pretty much the only way um that i know of um so, yeah, I'm going to tilt this down. Hopefully it doesn't bounce too much. I'm just kind of bear with me. So I'm still trying to learn how to use this thing. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with this ammo banding. I've got my cardboard down. Keep my table as neat as possible. Dauber. I still haven't figured out how to not get the threads to pull out when I'm using it. So every once in a while i got to fish a thread off the leather. But, you know, things happen. So, anyway... We're getting it started. So, this is the uh, Fibings Marine Corps Black. I don't know why it's Marine Corps Black as opposed to just black, but I'm well, just gonna get in here. And because of the way this ammo banding is, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit different than the way I do the rest. I mean, I should have started with the other one to kind of show you how to do that. But yeah, we'll get to it in due time. This is uh, gonna be. A short video because there's really only so many ways to dye things but uh the reason i really recommend gloves is because i like to pick it up and move it and i don't i don't really always want to go to work with stuff on my hands so i might have been wrong i might have to actually pull this apart to uh completely dye it so right now the face is essentially almost done okay i'm going to try and get in these pockets so I'm actually going to let the uh, dye do the work and I'm just going to kind of squeeze it in there. So yeah, so it's uh, kind of inevitable if you work with this stuff, you're going to get dye on your hands. Just uh, it, does, it doesn't come off easily, so I recommend the gloves. If you're ever wondering how much dye to put on it I don't know I uh, when I first started the general rule of thumb was you use dye or you put dye on it until it stops actively absorbing it so when it starts to pool and you get the shiny color because when it dries see it'll be like a matte color so um, you basically just keep using it and until it's completely saturated at least that's the way it was explained to me when you've got the time and you don't rush things like I have a tendency to do so uh, I'm being much less careful on the back because it's still really rough I haven't figured out how to fix that yet so I'm just gonna get that in there real quick So yeah, I'm gonna come around the edge, make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get this to kind of see it. Focus. No, you're not gonna focus today. No. Anyway, it's drying in a nice matte color. Um, you get the shine from the sealant later on. And I think what I'm gonna do now, well, not now, but before I finish this, sorry about that, I don't know why I didn't focus. Um, before I seal this, I'm going to actually get a Q-tip in here. So if you 
you can see there's still some natural color in there and I don't I don't want the natural color so now being that I use this dauber on the back you see it's all nice and tore up now so I don't I don't I don't want to use this one anymore so I brought an extra one now and uh, I'm gonna do the easy pieces first and then I'm gonna get to the holster and just kind of show you all how easy it really is to dye this leather Let's see if I can get you a good shot of what it looks like where it's saturated and not saturated you know because it's uh it's still absorbing it so i like to come back over have a nice even coat because sometimes depending on where you live or if you're inside or outside the humidity things like that how cold or hot it is you'll uh you'll get like patchy spots and you can the sealant usually covers up most of them but you know you don't want patchy spots you want a nice even coat so um again i'm just gonna make everything shiny at one time make sure it's got enough on there because sometimes depending on what kind of leather you actually buy it uh some of it's better quality than others so it holds the dyes better Hit my hit this again because it was starting to be a little weird looking. Again, I really hope I can figure out how to speed these videos up. So here, I don't want to do a lot of talking, so maybe I need to leave it like it is. So come back, hit the edge. This has this back plate I put on here to give it a little bit more stability, but it's still all nice and rough here, so I'm gonna ruin this dive or two. I'm actually gonna do this first. So I have that much less chance of the random cotton uh, strands that are gonna come off the dive inevitably. And I still, like I said, haven't figured out how to prevent that. So I just I just work with it. Dabbers are cheap. And I just buy plenty of extras so that once it starts to fray, I don't really I don't really want to deal with it anymore. So I just move on. Now you can see I'm coming up on eight minutes. So, let's flip this back over. Yeah, we look about even. Okay. Spread that one out. It's the other thing when you already have holes punched, it'll bleed through one side and to the other. And then you usually you get spots. You don't want spots. So, I'm going to set that down. Alright, so we're at nine minutes. Um, this one didn't get quite as torn up as the last one, but I'm going to go ahead and ditch it anyway. Right. Actually, maybe I'll save it for the inside of this. So set that down. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one off and I'm gonna come back and do a second one for this. So, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Alright, stay tuned.